Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to CodeSignal to work on the database SQL coding exercises. If you're coming into this in the middle of the playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link down below if you want to start from the first video. Otherwise I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to go to the arcade. This is in codesignal.com and we're going to go to databases and we left off under this section number 16 news subscribers. So you're managing a small newspaper subscription service. Anyone who uses it can subscribe to a large number of different newspapers for a full year or just a half year. The information about subscriptions is stored in the full year and half year tables which have the following structures. So they're similar. They got an ID, uh, the newspaper name, and the subscriber in both of them. And then given the full year and half year tables, compose the result as follows. The resulting table should have one column subscriber that contains all the distinct names of anyone who has subscribed to a newspaper with the word daily in its name. The table should be sorted in ascending order by the subscriber's first names. All right, so here's an example of the full year table, ID, newspaper name, subscriber name, and the half year table is the same. So they want the output as just one column with the unique uh, subscriber names sorted uh, by the subscriber's first names. All right, so how we do that is we're going to union these two tables together. So there's two different ways you can union. You can use the union or the union all. If you do union, it will only give you the unique records from the, uh, it's going to take out any duplicates. If you do union all, it will just paste these two together and there may be, may or not be, may or may not be duplicates. Uh, we don't want duplicates because we just want distinct subscriber names, so we're just going to union them. And we just have to select the subscriber from each table, and then the from is just the full year or the half year, and then we want the newspaper uh, that has uh, the, the name daily in it, as I said here. Uh, so who subscribed to a newspaper with the word daily in its name, so that's where we have that. Where, and then we have to wrap this in a from clause because we can't do order by uh, when we're unioning tables, so we wrap this into a subquery and then we do the order by after that. So that's why this is uh, in a subquery instead of just ordering this one and ordering that one because uh, it won't allow it. So that's that. If we run the test, you'll see that they'll all pass. And that was a fairly simple one as long as you know about union and you know you have to wrap this in a subquery in order for it to order correctly by subscriber. All right, I hope you guys were able to follow along and I hope you guys join me for the next videos. Thank you very much.